Well, as a child grows, parents sometimes have concerns about how their child walks or stands or even lifts things. Some of these issues correct themselves on their own, but others need medical treatment, and that can be very expensive. Thankfully, that's where the Shriners step in. Paul Buriak is an L. Ride Shriner, and he's here to tell us about a free screening for children that could get your child the help they need for free. Paul, good to have you with us today. Good morning, Gary. Hey, let's let's remind everybody what the Shriners are all about and and the mission that you guys are are are, are working on every day. You bet. So we're a philanthropic organization that supports 22 hospitals nationwide. Um, most of them are orthopedic. We do cleft lip. We have two burn hospitals, one in Galveston and one in Northern California, and two research hospitals that research burns. So how long have you been a Shriner? I've been a Shriner about six years. And, and this program, um, you've been involved in this program specifically how long? For four years, and this is the first year where I'm the chairman of the hospital reps, so and, I represent the hospital. And you've got a personal story with this. I mean, you've got, this, this hits you right where it counts, right? Right. Yeah, my, so tell us your story. You bet. My son, when he was seven, we found out he has muscular dystrophy. He has Duchenne, which is the worst. Um, a friend of mine, Mo, who's the potentate this year, came to me and said, we can help you. Um, I argued because my whole family's been Shriners most of their lives. He said, no, no, it's not that way anymore. We'll help you. So my son's been in the system for seven years. Um, they've helped him with orthopedic splints and things for his shoes, wheelchairs, um, all kinds of things that you need that people yeah. that don't have a disabled child don't really know that you need. Um, and he was just recently a year and a half ago in December, they always do those right around Christmas for some reason, he had back surgery. Um, they essentially straightened his back in one place about 100 degrees and another place about 60 and opened him up all the way down, used a GPS to put the, the uh, screws in and then titanium rods. This is how good they are. Four days, he was ready to go home. Really? There was a point where I thought I might never leave that at the hospital yeah, if they right. did that to me. Right. In four days, he was ready to go home. It was that good. And, and, the, and what about for you? I mean, the, the thought that must be running through your mind as parents to think about that, you, they've helped your son. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. I will be a Shriner, and I'll be involved with the hospitals for the rest of my life. Wow. I mean, yep. you're the reason why you do these things. Absolutely. Wow. So, so the, how many kids have been involved in this program other than your son? I mean, how many right. kids? Can you remember? Uh, you know, it's been so many years and for so long. And we run into kids everywhere. I'm a clown as well, so I parade. And kids will come out of the street and come up and hug you and say, I was a Shriner kid. So I, I'm going to say somewhere in the real large hundreds to thousands. To really? over a thousand. That's yeah. amazing. I mean, right. this is really an amazing story. Yep. So let's get into this event. So if, if you're sitting at home watching this today and thinking that, you know, I'd like to get some help with my yep. child, if they're going to come to this event now, you have, it's not the clowns, it's no. not helping out with this event. Talk about the people and the, the local team and the teams that are coming in sure. to help with this event. You bet. So we're at Orthopedic Institute on the south side of the Avera campus, and they're there to help support everything. We have 11 people from our hospital that will come in Friday night. They'll be there Saturday morning. We'll set it up at 7.30. So we have local people and we have the experts that, that treat, um, I can't remember the name, uh, for young yeah. kids. Yeah, okay, so, yeah. yeah. And so, um, so really you've got the expertise here to help and Correct. so it's not just gonna be a fly by night thing. So let's, let's get, we've got a couple of graphics we wanna talk mm -hmm. about that get into some things that maybe parents should look for. So let's Correct. walk through these, Paul, a little bit on some so, things. So we've got in towing, toe walking, flat feet, bowed legs or knock knees, um, sore or painful joints, limb deficiency where maybe they're not as long as the other ones, mm -hmm. and that's the discrepancy. And like we talked about, curved spine or indicating of scoliosis and club feet. Uh, one that's not on there that we should talk about, a non-emergency sports injury. We treat those as well now. A non-emergency sports injury. Give us an example. So an example would be maybe um, a torn meniscus or something to do with one of your ACL, PCL, XCLs, you know, in your knees or maybe there's something in your ankle. Not an emergency where they yeah. might have a chance to lose a leg if it isn't something done, but they could go, oh, hey, you know, I'd like somebody else to see. I'd like a second opinion. Yeah. So, so if parents decide they want to come to this, mm -hmm. um, talk about the process itself. Is it... Is it confidential? Is it, you know, how, how, how is it run? Absolutely. It's absolutely confidential because there's HIPAA laws. Yeah, everything's with mm -hmm. HIPAA. It doesn't, it's not any different than anything else. But what you do is you either call the number 
that'll be up here a little bit, but it's 605-336-1117, which is local. You can also email office at elriad.org. They will then get you into the system. The system will call you and they'll schedule an appointment. And then we screen you and say, okay, yes, we can help you or we can't help you. So I, I, I keep, I'm in the back of my mind, I keep going back to your own personal situation. And you guys battled this on your own for how many years? Before? Well, it was, we, it, was, it was odd because we were diagnosed. And then like everything else, there's a friend who says to another friend, mm -hmm. hey, they need help. And then that almost instantaneous, we were involved with the shrine. Yeah. So wow. it was like pluck out of a yeah. field. So. so how common are you seeing things, the things that we pointed out on the screen? Mm -hmm. I mean, how common do you see those around here? It's, it's, it's odd because if you don't have it, you never see it. It's like when you buy a truck. You know, you don't see that truck and all of a sudden everybody has a blue truck after you buy yeah, a blue truck. Yeah. So once you see it, then you start seeing it and you start seeing it. Yeah. So let's, let's get into the details for the event again. Yeah. I know you know this, yeah. about, but it's coming up a week from Saturday. Right. So it's Saturday morning, September 22nd from 7.30 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Orthopedic Institute, 810 East 23rd Street. And, and don't hesitate, right? I mean, if you think you've got something that needs to be looked at, come Abs on in. Absolutely. It's better safe than sorry. Yeah. You know, just come see us. We'll tell oh. you if there's an issue or not. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for all the work you're doing. And, you and uh, thanks for sharing your story today. Yeah. Good Thank to you. have you.